Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. I'm Sam and I'm joined by my colleagues Bill and Chico. And during this segment we're going to take a look at some of the amiibo functionality that folks can look forward to in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's right, so as, uh, as everybody recalls, we um, released the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess with Wolf Link. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD on Wii U came bundled with a Wolf Link amiibo, uh, which you see right here. Um, and at the time, we mentioned that the game would have, the amiibo would have functionality in The Legend of Zelda for Wii U, uh, then Wii U, now Breath of the Wild. And so we wanted to take the opportunity today to show you what the amiibo is going to do in game. Um, and so we want to start with a quick video just recapping how the amiibo functioned in Twilight Princess HD. Uh, so we're going to cut to that video really quickly and, uh, and show you, if you recall, what, what it does there. But essentially the way that it worked in that video is you would enter the Cave of Shadows as Wolf Link um, when you tapped it in, and you would play the challenges in there, and you would complete the Cave of Shadows, and then you would tap the amiibo to the Wii U gamepad, and it would save the number of remaining hearts that you had in the, after completing the Cave of Shadows to the Wolf Link amiibo. And so now what we want to do is we're going to actually tap this to the, uh, to Wii, uh, the Wii U version of Zelda Breath of the Wild and show you what it does. Uh, so as you see, you use uh, one of your runes there on the Sheikah Slate to give you access to the amiibo. And we tap it in. And, oh, let's see. Uh-oh. There, I heard a little, uh-oh. We have a slight tech, oh, there, there we go. go. You may have seen a little effect there, similar to the, what you see in Twilight Princess. Tapping the amiibo to the Wii U gamepad in Breath of the Wild will bring Wolf Link into the game as a partner character. Um, so we've been showing you a lot of the game. We've been showing you running around and exploring. Perhaps what you've noticed is that Link does not have a partner character in the game, um, and that is true. Typical of, uh, of a Zelda game, you would normally see somebody like a Navi, or uh, in the case of Twilight Princess, a Midna. In the case of Breath of the Wild, Link is generally exploring alone. Um, and so if you do want that partner character, you would tap in the Wolf Link amiibo and call Wolf Link in. Wolf Link does a variety of different things in the game, uh, in addition to just kind of being a partner character that runs around with you. Uh, as you can see here, Wolf Link helps with combat. Um, he will actually uh, attack enemies and, uh, and will help you fight them. Yeah, he actually barks when he finds enemies for you, too. Yeah, it's, it's really cute when he does. He kind of like hunkers down and growls mm -hmm. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing him in his art style. It's just really cool. The other, thing that's, the other thing that's really cool is you do, looking at how big he is, you're like, yeah, that's, that's Link crouched down <laughs> in wolf size. <laughs> um, so, I don't know if he was sniffing out something there. Yeah. Yeah. So if I see it, cool. Oh, there we go. Now, apart from, uh, from combat, the other thing that Wolf Link will do is if you get close enough to, uh, to a wild animal, Oh, looks like you need to get a little bit closer there, Chico. Wolf, Wolf Link will go out and hunt the animal for you. He's able to sense prey, sense meat, um, and he'll help you out with yeah. that as well. But he doesn't go for acorn, though. No, just he doesn't. The just the meat. <laughs> yeah. um, you can see the animation also just really fluid, really nice. Mm -hmm. kind I of can actually hear like the, the chain a little bit as he walks. Yeah, he still has the, the chain around his paw from when he was in prison at the beginning of <laughs> Twilight Princess. Uh, oh, he's wolfing, right? Oh, there he goes. Ah, sorry. Did it first. Oh, go oh, okay, oh, oh, thank he, you. There he goes. There you go. He he got, he got that uh, got that boar uh, right there on the rump and, and took him down for you, Chico. Yeah, yeah. It's really impressive when you see, especially in combat with large groups of enemies. Wolf is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting to see how he does, uh, especially through combat. That's right. Now we also have um, from. The show floor here at E3. One of the things that we're showing, obviously, we've got uh, Amiibo on display here on the show floor. Um, one of the things that we're showing is the what the process is for creating Amiibo. Um, it starts very, very oh, simply uh, with a very basic uh, 3D printed model. Um, usually, these are based off of some of the in-game models uh, that we see in the game. And, uh, and so in this case, Wolf Link started off with this very basic gray uh, in-game model. 
And if, you, if you're able to get up close on that, you can ah. see sort of the polygonal, polygonal nature of the print here. Um, oh, the I think perhaps a little bit later in the day, we may have a chance to, uh, to show the full process, but there's uh, sort of about five different oh, yeah. steps in the creation process before we actually end up getting ah, to the, the final model here. Yeah, it's interesting. I think it's important it's to appreciate how much iteration goes into the creation of the amiibo, but when you're looking at some characters from certain games, uh, their physical structure might make it really challenging to make amiibo, especially when you're looking at balance and making sure that you've got them in a pose that they're going to have nice stability when you've actually got them, say, sitting on a shelf where you're playing with them. That's right. And in fact, you, you start with this basic 3D model print, and then from there you, you have to uh, refine the model itself. And then you get into sort of once you finalize that model, um, then you start to get into some test painting and things like that. Um, and it becomes, uh, it's actually a very long process. It takes uh, start to finish, it can take upwards of roughly, you know, 10 months to a year uh, from the very beginning of the Amiibo creation process until the actual product launches. Um, so it actually is a long process, uh, but, uh, but one that's it's fun to kind of watch and see go through all those different forms. Yeah, especially as the poses get refined. I know I've seen certain iterations for some of our Amiibo where they're really experimenting with how best to pose the character, position the uh -huh. character, and it's neat seeing kind of what didn't work as well and, and the different test cases that they do along the way. That's right. Now, uh, now going back to Wolf Link in the game, we mentioned that uh, when you tap Wolf Link in, he will have uh, the number of hearts that you saved in Twilight Princess. Um, and he'll, he'll travel alongside you for the duration of your gameplay, um, and he'll do this until he loses all of his hearts. Uh, fortunately, Chico is uh, doing a good job here and is taking good care of Wolf Link, um, and so ah! he hasn't taken uh, a whole lot of damage yet. But once those hearts run out, um, then Wolf Link will disappear uh, and the next time, you know, if you, if you do want to play with him again, then you can wait one day in uh, real world time, uh, not one day in in-game time, but one day in real world time, and then you can uh, tap Wolf Link to the gamepad again and, and call him back into Breath of the Wild. Yep. Um, you need to get after those boars, Chico. I know! <laughs> yeah. It's interesting what a difference Wolf Link can make, especially if you've taken the time to really kind of make him a burly wolf before you bring him into the game. And, and if you're starting out, he can really help cover your back for you as you're getting a feel oh, for the gameplay. He was right behind me. Jeez. Uh oh. Well, that's the other thing you can do is oh. you can. Uh, oh. He killed me. Yeah. And you he can... left the food for you, too. It's yeah. very polite of him. It's so kind of him that he, he takes down the prey but does not eat the meat. He leaves that for you. <laughs> he loves me. So. <laughs> Um, now the other thing, of course, is if you do get separated from Wolf Link, um, you can uh, you can blow your whistle, you can blow a whistle or whistle to him, and call him back to you. Um, and you'll also, of course, he is a wolf. Oh, listen to that bark! I love it. He's got a lot of other really cool animations if you watch him. So good. <laughs> oh. Uh, so you can, uh, if he runs off in a different direction, then you can whistle to him, and he'll come right back to you. Talk at all about uh, his ability to sniff things out as well. Well, yeah, you will. Of course, he is a wolf, so uh, wolves having uh, good noses. Um, he'll be able to help you out and uh, later on in the game be able to sniff out certain items for you, uh, which is quite nice. But of course, uh, Wolf Link isn't the only amiibo that's going to be compatible with uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We talk about this interesting display. Uh, we actually have a few more brand new amiibo. Uh, hopefully, we can get in very close on these. The level of detail uh, on these new Amiibo are really, truly stunning. Um, this is Archer Link, and I'm just going to slowly rotate him around. Oh, especially the uh, detail on the back of his shell. Yeah. This side, incredible. you can see right here, uh, you can see the detail on the Sheikah Slate. Um, the, the head of this arrow, uh, which you see from the, uh, the, <coughs> the video in the uh, Guardian battle, uh, incredibly detailed, very, very well replicated. Uh, you have the arrows hanging uh, from, from Leek's belt and, um, and just the amount of detail that you get on even uh, his armbands uh, and, and tunic are really amazing. These are easily the most highly detailed amiibo that I think we've created so far. Um, and, uh, and this is the first of, we have uh, uh, three that we want to show you today. Um, so the first is Archer Link. And really cool. I can't wait to get these. Uh, it's great because I've been, you know, Aonuma san and I have been talking for a long time about wanting to, to have Zelda figures uh, available for people. 
So hopefully people are excited for these. Uh, this is Writer Link. Again, it's my one favorite. of the uh, yeah, the just the sense of presence you get from the horse, um, the the way that it's sculpted. You you get so much detail in the muscles, the mane, even the uh, the bridle with the saddle and everything. Uh, Link's shield hanging on the back, the saddlebags. Really, really nice. We have some uh, online, we have some videos uh, that show these in really close-up detail, rotating around, uh, that are really great. And I think we, we might have these on display actually at the booth here, so folks can maybe check out, hopefully there'll be some more photos folks are taking online, but it's so impressive how they were able to realize the art style, I think, of the game here. And it, it really feels like it captures the, like, the softness of the color and the detail. It's, uh, it's right. really cool. Billy's really probably the only few people who can actually touch it. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching it because yeah, I like no, my job and yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, break yeah. things. These are, <laughs> these are still in a prototype form. They're near final, but, um, but they are, because of that, they're a little bit fragile still. I feel like so you can get away with it if careful. something terrible happens, but I'm keeping <laughs> yes. a very respectful yeah. distance. Now then, <laughs> uh, I, have, I have one more to show. <laughs> oh, this and this cool. one is, of course, very, very impressive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a Guardian Amiibo. And again, you can see uh, the amount of detail. It really helps to bring sort of those glowing pink colors to life. You can see the uh, eye in front there. Um, and although I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bend it today. This is the first amiibo that we've created that has posable parts. Um, you can bend the legs uh, if you're uh, with with our pre-production model. It's uh, you have to That's be very so careful. So I'd rather not. <laughs> but in the, uh, the when we release this alongside the game, uh, you'll be able to bend the legs freely and kind of pose the amiibo however you like. I'm kind of looking forward to making dioramas with those arms, like he's going to be grabbing other amiibo in my collection or. Maybe actually battling Link or something while well, I've got him sitting out. It's going to be really fun to see what I can do once I've got a production model I can feel safe with. <laughs> yeah. So these are uh, three amiibo that we have coming uh, to launch alongside The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get them. But uh, we just wanted to give you a quick moment and uh, share those with you. Chico, is there anything else that you uh, wanted to show us with Wolf Link? Or, no. No? That's about it. Well, we've got a little bit of time. We can maybe do some quick running around with and maybe see if we can find another camp to hit before okay. we wrap up. I think there's a camp over here. I hope they're awake. I don't want to always, you know, attack them when they're sleeping. It is really interesting, I found, just finding new places to run around with them at. And actually, I think we might be coming up to something that we shouldn't see just yet, so All right. we'll hang on to that for later. But yep. um, thank you so much, Bill and Chico, for joining us and giving us a look at the Amiibo functionality. Uh, folks, again, if uh, you happen to know somebody who's here at the show, you might want to see if they can take some photos of these. We've got them on display. And please don't go anywhere. Actually, next up, we're going to have Mimoto-san join us, and we're going to be talking about how this game actually ties in a really interesting way uh, to the original Legend of Zelda. So please stay tuned, we'll be right back.